guys, once again we are back here at the Remote Duo TCG Invitational. We are just witnessing Owen Wilson and his Ultra Guys deck uh, uh, trying uh, his best to just destroy this Tri Brigade. Uh, I gotta say thanks to the Rivalry, which uh, definitely won him an unfavorable game one. And he is looking good to just do the same here in game two. So let's see if Dawid uh, will uh, just have uh, an uh, ace up his sleeve and uh, any solution for this problem. Because otherwise I think uh, we might have a quick uh, game two and a quick match overall. Yeah. It was well played by Owen. Uh, I started things off with Vela, then... Uh... Especially with the Gospel, now Rivalry plus the Multi-Faker. Uh... Yeah, it's Look. tough. It's a lot of advantage. And even though the Faker was stopped uh, by the Droplet, uh, he still had uh, uh, the Conquery to just stop things. And here, wow, phew. this Marionette is so much advantage. And uh, uh, if I know one thing is that although Altergeist is a control deck, uh, if you let him combo off, uh, it can set up so many negations, even spell and traps, uh, and that means there are no top decks left uh, to just come back into the game. So I think uh, Dawid uh, is looking uh, real good to advance and face Mattia tomorrow, but let's not call it over yet uh, until it's over. So uh, Dawid uh, uh, looking uh, slightly annoyed by all of this but can't blame him he will try his best uh, but he has to work with god he's got so just unfortunate that by playing well and not going for the apollusa he kind of lost the game because if he would have gone for apollusa he could have negated the bell and he would have actually won game two most likely so interesting uh, decision there but i don't think you can blame yeah. him so it was well played, and now, as I mentioned, uh, so many options available. Yeah, Owen actually is, is free to do whatever he wants to. Uh, again, uh, of course, Apollos is not good against this kind of matchup. This was, I think, the only case in which uh, he might have helped Dawid. But, uh... Okay. And we actually see a Link free, I believe, uh, yeah. including the Anima, so he will give back a card to his opponent. And let's see. Unique? No. No. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, it's one of... Uh, yeah, the cards, a few cards you actually tend to play sometime here and there. And uh, it is the Witch uh, Celine. So, let's see. Celine, Queen of the Masters. Uh, I think it's uh, a decent option here. Even if you get the Faker now to the end... Uh, it gets you so much ahead of uh, your opponent, uh, who is still uh, in a tough spot and not finding a response uh, for the rivalry. And yeah, here again yeah. we see just uh, additional plays. Uh, ooh, okay, maybe the... Yeah. Full oh. setup. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, not going uh, uh, Dawid's uh, way. I think he needs a miracle, and uh, he's not the one who is playing uh, evenly out of the two players. So, uh, really, really needs a miracle off the top deck uh, to stay in this. <sighs> Looks like Fractal is not enough. Uh... Another set card from Owen's side, and... Uh... We will soon see if somehow Dawid can uh, do the miracle or not, but uh, very difficult. Yeah, he picks up his cards. Uh, needs a miracle here to come back. The Feather Duster uh, among them, I guess, because uh, Owen couldn't really rely on his cards, but I don't know. This is not looking like it, uh, so... I think uh, Owen uh, will not hesitate to stop him in his tracks. Hmm. And yeah, uh, uh, here comes uh, one of the first cards, the Protocol, plus the Faker. So much advantage coming Owen way. Wow. 
Nothing that David can do, unfortunately for him. Uh, this is too much things going on at the moment. Uh, he's just looking at his graveyard and his life points, yeah. maybe. I mean, he's just thinking uh, if he has another turn uh, to survive, but I don't think uh, that's uh, very likely, maybe. Uh, but the Revolt, uh, again, will not allow him to go for... Uh, that and uh, absolutely Owen plays it uh, super well and I think uh, there is not much uh, that he can do uh, the car being a back is sent back to the end and uh, this game is uh, yeah. absolutely over so well played by Owen uh, we'll now try uh, just to do some quick uh, calculations and uh, attack for game but I think we have uh, our third to last winner of the day completed the and it's going to be Altergeist, yet another unique deck advancing to tomorrow. It seems like we will have a pretty diverse uh, uh, day two, just like we had today. Yeah, a lot of different decks, and uh, these guys showed us how powerful these decks are. Uh, here, I think that this should be enough, even if it's just entering battle phase. Yeah, just doing some calculation, but... Uh... Yeah. Let's see. Could be slightly short, but it depends uh, as well on his opponent. I don't think it makes any difference, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, he has just so, so many uh, cards he can uh, negate uh, from uh, David. And uh, yeah, as we can see here, not going anywhere. Yeah, pa plays back to David, who has one last turn. Uh, to try and change the pace of this match, uh, he needs a miracle, uh, and I can't even think of a card that could save him uh, here. So, as I mentioned, evenly is what comes closer, but it's not even enough. Tanky is definitely not it. And uh, yeah, I think Owen will allow any of this madness to happen. Uh, even if he has a solemn judgment, he might consider to activate a judgment here and then bounces back uh, the last card in the wizard. Okay, yes, of course. Wow, the Ash, okay. <laughs> I mean, you can see that with smiling, he picks up his cards up, uh, and uh, just as it was uh, really getting obvious, uh, Owen is the winner of this match. He advances 2 0, and he will be facing Mattia tomorrow. So congratulations to both, uh, and let's go back to us for the post-match discussion.